Hey y'all, Tehan141 here. Guess you're probably wondering about the light. We're going to look down the well and I'm going to show you my off-grid water system. Stay tuned. We're getting it done. Can you see? Can you see down there? It's a 16 foot well. We've got this rope hooks to this one inch line that I will use for filling the larger totes, the 300 gallon totes, for water in the summer. All right, so that's down the well, and everything is looking good. We got water down there. Don't need this on. We got water down there and oh Richie came out. Hey Kiki's here. Gonna help daddy. He he helps he helps me start the generator every morning. As long as he don't poop in the woodshed, I'm good. <laughs> With all the snow they like the sand of the floor of the woodshed. But uh here is one of our 300 gallon totes that we use in the summer um, I've got one back behind me right there that I use if I really have to uh, transfer water transport water um, I've got several people my brother my mother that allow me to bring water in because in the dog days of summer last year our water ran out uh, and I didn't have any sort of filter and you can see the leaves and stuff in there because I was you just using it for the rainwater for the chickens and the pigs okay well now I've got a filter system that I made I'll show that this spring when I set it up um, we got and I clean these out at least once a year uh, twice a year actually because when I put them up I've got a brand new tote there needs to be rinsed out our pigs their water comes off a tote you can see it in the background over there um, so yeah can you see it in the, yeah you can see it there okay. we're talking today about off-grid water off-grid water this is what we got I'm filling our water now from the well what I have is a 12 volt submersible water pump down in the well. It pumps through this poly. I have an extra filter on here just because we have really hard water. Also, uh, there, we ended up getting a bunch of particles in our water and that is like a pre-screen. And then that runs through that cord and we fill these two 55 gallon drums now i have on here where we can from the drums we can choose which drum we take from in the summer i have a 300 gallon tote outside that we fill and use from and that comes in right here this blue poly here or this blue pex we pex it up. This is just a camper, a regular camper water pump. On-demand water cup pump. It keeps the pressure in these pipes at 50 pounds per square inch. Okay. Now, I said that we have extremely hard water um, with some particulates. So, we have two filters here. This one is just a one mil regular water filter to filter out particulates this is a or 0 0.05 mils carbon filter to help take care of any bacteria or any 
any nasties that might end up in the water. Just for a simple reason, we have a really shallow well. Now this runs, and this will be being removed soon, to another particular filter. It was in the line when I put these filters on, so I just left it for now. Now, I'm not a very patient person. Before we had the pump, we used this pump. And what I did was I just took a small piece of plywood and screwed it to the top. I put a piece of poly down to the bottom of the barrel and then uh, we have a water pump and it will pump water. <laughs> it pumps a lot of water uh, to do the chickens and such as that. Uh, I keep it covered just so dust will stay out of it. Uh, we still got water coming out of here. It just got quiet. Yep. Um, so, now here is my propane tank that runs to my on-demand hot water heater. I will leave a link for all this stuff below. You see it comes in with just a regular, with just a regular hose. Uh, this is the propane in, and this is where it comes out. I have it teed off to go to the shower, and I have it uh, also where it runs to the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink. Here's the bathroom sink. I haven't, haven't finished off the bathroom walls yet, but now that pump, I have a switch here. I have a switch here that controls that pump. I can shut it off uh, if we're going to be going for a while um, or if I need to drain it when I change the filters. In here, I can shut that pump right off so I don't have to worry about it. Um, now, the 12 volt submersible water pump in the well is, isn't the fastest thing in the world to fill these. Um, but, you know, it takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to fill a 55 gallon drum. We use one tank till it's empty or close to empty. Then I switch to the other tank, especially in the winter because it allows the one to be warm when it's being used. It re relieves a little bit of the demand on the hot water heater to heat up the water which isn't really necessary but i like to do it anyway that way we always have like right now we have 40 gallons of water um that we still have and i'm filling this this one and i might even top off this little one so that is our water system we have running water hot and cold water everything is just like it would be in a normal house when you're at the spigot uh, we have 50 psi of water pressure uh, i'm thinking of at one at some point going up to a higher pump uh, maybe 60 psi whatever the uh, pex will handle i think I think it says 60 on it. Uh, but that's off-grid water. And I will have the links for everything below in the description. Check it out. I am not affiliated with anybody yet other than TubeBuddy. <laughs> uh, but hey, if you got any value out of today's video, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, subscribe so that you'll see that when we post new stuff so you're always up to date on our content. All right, this is T-Ham 141. I'm out.